Hi everybody, we are Wish Upon a Run, but today we're doing a special video. Something a little different. <laughs> uh, a little different, but it doesn't involve, kind of related. It doesn't involve expensive shoes <laughs> and- Expensive something, Adam. Sweating your butt off. <laughs> This is like um, the exact maybe you opposite. Maybe you could sweat your butt off in this situation. <laughs> um, so you could end up in a food coma, maybe. You could. Yes. Or sweating to wait for these. Yes. Yep. So mm -hmm. yep. we are doing a special video. I sent Adam down to Disney Springs to try out and obtain the hottest snack at Walt Disney World right now. Gideon's Bakery. Yeah, so people have been talking about this like crazy, and I know this is gonna be the new thing that all the Run Disney virtual runners and live race runners are gonna want after they're done running. Mm -hmm. um, now, Kristen sent me over there. She's like, well, you're probably gonna wanna go pretty early um, because I hear there's gonna be a long line um, and you know, be prepared to sit for a while. And I'm like, okay, that sounds over good. Over the weekend uh, of their their opening, their soft, well, it wasn't their soft opening, it was like kind of their official opening uh, here mid-January. The line in the news articles locally said lines were over eight hours long. Okay, well, I didn't wait eight hours, thank goodness, and I'm glad you, <laughs> no. didn't, glad you didn't tell me that. <laughs> oh, I'm know. glad I didn't. <laughs> didn't know, but I got there this morning, I got to Disney Springs at a little after 9.25, I was in line by 9.30, and there were probably 30 people ahead of me. Mm -hmm. And I think I was inside by like 10, 15 or 10, 16. Which is this... pretty good. Disney Springs opens at 10 a.m. every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, wow, this is not what I expected at all. And in fact, <laughs> I, I texted Kristen right after I got done and I said, this is like the Haunted Mansion and Harry Potter like had a baby and they made cookies. <laughs> And it was an experience. I thought I was just gonna go pick up some cookies. Uh, bring them home. I was gonna bring them home. It's all good. The time. Oh, no, 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 this is an experience. And they, the, the storefront, the shop is very small. It has no windows. I bet you they can only, I'm gonna put video right now. I took okay. video today. It's dark, I'm sorry, the video is very dark. Um, but you walk inside, there's no windows, it's dark, it's creepy. Yeah. Um, it's like you're, you know, at the world of Harry Potter at Universal or like you're in the Haunted Mansion queue. It's like very dark. Like choosing a wand? Chandeliers. Does the cookie choose you? Yeah, probably. There's <laughs> very unique wall art. Um, you know what I didn't see? What? Cookies. I didn't, you see, didn't any see any cookies. There, there was were, no cookies. There in. were no cookies to be seen inside the cookie shop. Like there's assumed, no cases? No, I assumed that there would be okay. lined with cases and cookies that you could yeah, look at Yeah, I would choose. like this one and now, this Now they one. did have a case that had cake in it because I guess they have giant pieces of cake. So I did see some cake. I did know um, about that. And they did have a area for their cold brew peanut butter coffee which I did not try, but I will get <gasps> next time. Oh, um, that would have been good. But I didn't see good. the cookies. So I was, and I mean, if you're watching this video right now, it was really creepy in there. It was, it was a really, really cool experience. They had this very cool fire smoke effect for when you purchase the cookies. But okay. here's what's funny is you don't actually see the cookies. Okay. Um, they had them wrapped up and they put them in the box. They put the box in the bag and we still have not seen these cookies. And no. <laughs> also, word to, word to the wise, Kristen sent me out for cookies and I said, okay, well, I'll take two of each. <laughs> and they said, I'm sorry, sir, you can only have six. Um, and so I said, oh, well, I guess I will have one of each. Um, and I'm like, okay, that's gonna be about, you know, we're at Disney, so I'm like, it'll probably be like 15 or $16. No, no, no. Now, I was wholly unprepared. Was I think about... Adam did not realize what he was getting into when I asked him to take this task on. <laughs> uh. It was about $60 <laughs> for six cookies. So um, it was it was a lot, but I knew that for the channel, we wanted to try <laughs> one of each. Um, they That's also they asked me if I wanted these dipping sauces um, right here. I said- Dipping sauce? Sure. I, I, at first <laughs> I said, no, I don't need any dipping sauces. And then I thought, Go big or go home. So I got the dipping sauces too. Um, okay. And so we are going to experience this together. So now the history of Gideon's, <laughs> um, Kristen was just telling me that they opened here first in Orlando. There's some kind of weird storied past about how the baker found a book 
with some yeah. scribblings. Do you want to read that? Yeah, here. I can read it real mm -hmm. quick. It's not yeah. real long. Yeah. Uh, so, and I'm going to paraphrase mm -hmm. just so you know. So the bakery creator, Steve Lewis, he purchased what he thought was an antique cookbook that was published in 1898. So when he opened the book, the margins were filled with faded notes and doodles from what appeared to be a young boy who had dreams of becoming a baker. And the name written on the back of the book was the name Gideon. So in order to kind of pay tribute. Who I assume is this guy. I have no idea this is what they were handing me outside while I waited. It also has a menu on it. Um, mm -hmm. But go ahead, sorry. Uh, but yeah, so they are paying tribute to him with the artwork that they have during that era. And the bakehouse is kind of designed after that Victorian area uh, era with a uh, says curious antiquities and aging books. And, and as you can see art. from the video that we took inside, that is definitely true. Um, it is dark and creepy. It was <laughs> cool. It was an experience. Mm -hmm. It was more than I thought. Mm -hmm. I even said to the cashier, I said, wow, this is really a bigger experience mm -hmm. than I ever imagined. And he said, yep, me too. Even the cashier was kind of like, well, I had no <laughs> idea what I was getting into. So I just got hired um, yesterday. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so let's get down to the nitty gritty, right? Because yeah. we have not seen these cookies. Yeah. But here they are. So guys, so, I have the second camera here for your close up. So we have not seen them either. Again, what Adam was saying is literally you purchase and they I'll give you, you a bag. Yep. And everything's in there. So you don't even see the cookies. Yeah, they're all wrapped up. Being put in. You don't have the cookies when you pay. And then you walk out and then you can open up these cookies so and figure it out. Here's what we got. Let me um, let me check here what we got. So we have um, original chocolate chip. Okay. Peanut butter crunch. Okay. Pistachio toffee, cookies and cream. Okay. Triple chocolate. Okay. And then I got one of the special editions. So I got the coffee toffee chocolate chip. Wow. They also have a coffee, um, coffee cake cookie. Oh, um, so okay. noted here on the menu, you can see that they have enormous cake slices, nitro cold brew, um, and some other uh, beverages like uh, okay. sugar cane sodas, that kind of thing. But enough of that. I want to see what the cookies. I'm really look glad like. that I had a longer workout today. Yes. Um, we will not be eating all these cookies today. Um, <laughs> no. Adam, what did they tell you about them? Oh yeah, they actually told me they said put them in the freezer and they'll last for about six months. Um, so I think we will be freezing some of these because yeah, there's well, no way that we're. I was expecting little cookies and they are no. not. I mean, um, so these are this very is heavy. thick. This box is, pick up the box. It's heavy. It is yeah, this heavy, is heavy, heavy. Box. I believe I read somewhere they're like half pound cookies. <laughs> no, not joking. Oh, I think that goodness. that's what um, yeah. I had read in an article. All right, well, open the baby. first one up and let's see what so, it looks like here. This is pretty heavy. You can see just by the width here yep. how big these are. So they're nicely here, just kind of wrapped in paper. Okay. Oh, wow, look at that. That looks like wow. the original. You're gonna flip it I'm over. I'm gonna flip yep. it over. That looks, oh man. And, I don't know if that is the original chocolate chip or the chocolate chip. This is chip. the cookies and cream. That's, oh, you're right. That's cookies that and cream. That is cookies and cream. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, it it's got, uh, I'm sure they don't want to say this, but it's definitely got Oreos, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, on the top. Uh-huh. Yeah, that looks good. That looks really good. So mm -hmm. let's just open them kind of one by one here. Yep. Okay. What do we have next? Well, this looks delicious too. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. This is the, what is it? Peanut butter crunch. I think that's crunch. the peanut butter crunch. Yep. Yeah, that's the peanut butter Again, crunch. Again, so you can sure. see the size of my hand. Up oh, here, I'll move it up mm -hmm. a little bit. Along with this cookie. I mean, these are these are big and they're thick and they're heavy. Yeah. So I would say, um, if you're real bold, you probably can take one down by yourself. Uh, if you be ready for that sugar coma though. Yeah. yeah. Hey, pre-race, uh, This is pre perfect to um, <laughs> share with somebody, probably. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So that's that one. Let's start stacking them up. Okay. And what we got? It's like Christmas here. I know. Oh, the only thing I don't that. like is you open them and it's the back side. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is definitely, sorry. I'm trying to move the things. Look the at the size chip. of those chocolate chips. 
Yeah. That is Again. enormous. Yeah, that's huge. That is a big, thick cookie. How much do you think that weighs? Like you said, half a pound? <coughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. That is a lot. Okay. Um, this has some nuts in it for sure. Mm, okay. Is there, um, um, what does here. it say on there? It doesn't have any listed ingredients really. It just says what the cookie is. Um, this might be coffee, toffee, chocolate chip. It's possible. Okay. It might be because right. it definitely has some crunchies in there. Sure. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah, if you have nut allergies, you might want to <laughs> ask them because I noticed some of these have nuts. Yeah, it looks like um, it. I don't do well with some nuts. So this up, uh, okay. That's this the is definitely chip, right? the chocolate chip. Yeah, that's their standard, right? I've seen this in photos. Yeah, I think that's And their again, standard. like you can just see how big this is comparatively to my hand. Oh, that's huge. Uh, this looks fantastic. Yep, I, can't I love just plain chocolate chip cookies. This is amazing. I, I don't know if it's worth what Adam paid for it, but we'll see. <laughs> I sure hope so. I hope so. Um, while we're opening the next one, it's nice to note there is only one other location. The first location opened in what I call essentially downtown Orlando, mm -hmm. um, outside of the attractions area. So if you're not from here, um, I won't bother you with all the details of that, but there's, there's only, only one, one location. Well, this is, def oh, pistachio. Yeah, so that's the pistachio. This is pistachio. Yep, that's pistachio for sure, okay. It is called pistachio toffee. Yep, yep, that's exactly what it is. Um, This looks delicious. It does look good. I'm not a toffee person, but I do like pistachios. I love pistachios, I love toffee, yeah. everything that's in there. <laughs> so, and One then, left, this I is know. it. So, so this, this I'm guessing, is the double chocolate. Yeah. Is what I would. Yes. Yep. Does that look like double chocolate chip to you? This is oh, most certainly. It looks salty. Oh, triple chocolate. Triple chocolate. Triple chocolate. So now, I guess oh, we're supposed man. to dip these in these dipping sauces. I don't know what these sauces are. Here. Um, but yeah, we better get all the cookies so up here. So let me just show them off here a little bit. Oh my goodness. I know. Wow. We have so many cookies. Mm -hmm. We barely even have room mm -hmm. for them all. Oh my goodness. Um, that is a lot of cookies. We um, need to call some friends. I know, we <laughs> most certainly will. Yeah, that's um, a lot of cookies. The kids will eat some of these for sure. <laughs> yeah, okay, so um, we need to try one of these. Um, which one are you gonna Why try Why don't we first? pick two? Yeah, why don't we pick two? We'll pick two. Yep. Um, and then uh, that way we can just talk about it a little bit. Mm -hmm. But at least you guys have seen kind of what they look like, what they're about, and you guys can decide for yourselves which ones you want to try. And uh, if we didn't try the one that you wanted, comment below and we'll tell you what we thought about it. Frosting. That's just basically frosting. Okay. And this is peanut butter. Mm-hmm. Yep. This is a standard frosting. Yep, and this is like okay. a peanut butter. So not to be rude to Gideon's Bakery. Lots of peanut butter. But this is essentially the same kind of frosting you can get at any grocery store on any <laughs> cake. That's yeah, what it so tastes like. it's like traditional frosting. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and so then, yeah, try that. It's like a peanut butter, right? It's like a peanut butter frosting. Yeah. For mm -hmm. sure, that's yep. all it is. Okay, so I really want to try this um, peanut butter uh, crunch. Okay. Because there you go. I know I'm probably the only one who's gonna want it. Because I know we don't have a whole lot of peanut butter lovers in the house. No. <laughs> so I'm gonna try that one. Okay. And do you wanna grab the camera here for me? I, we try not to eat on camera yeah. so much, but yeah. you know, unavoidable at some time. So, so should I dip why don't we show the inside of it? Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's really, really thick cookie. Should I dip this in the peanut butter or the frosting? Which one? Well, why not? You can take one bite of each. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> oh, wow. Is it a good chocolate chip cookie for what? It's very rich. Well, first of all, there's no chocolate in this. I don't think. Mm. No, I wouldn't imagine so. Unless, there, um, unless there's some white chocolate maybe, but 
Uh, yeah, no, it's salty. It's salty and delicious. Yeah, it's crispy where it needs to be crispy, and yeah. it's soft where it needs to be soft, just like you want a cookie to be kind of crispy yeah. on the outside and soft on the inside. That's try. real interesting. Um, I, You know how there's companies, uh, restaurants that oh. come up with stories? The little bit of salt that they put on the outside. Oh now you goodness. can really taste it. That's the secret. My sister taught me that in making chocolate chip cookies yeah. is to put a little bit of salt around sea the salt. outside. Sea salt. Yep. Yeah. Okay, get this away from me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. so. Um, All right, it's your turn. Okay. Yeah, you gotta oh. pick one. You gotta pick one. You know what? Maybe I should try the traditional chocolate chip. You should. Mm -hmm. So that we can uh, just talk about like kind of their signature yep. cookie. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, All right, you wanna cut into that guy? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Here. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna cut this little spot because a little nugget off in, the side um, that is, <laughs> yeah, that's real thick. Yes. You know, um, the, my favorite thing at Walt Disney World is their uh, normal chocolate chip cookies that you find in the confectionery. Mm -hmm. So yep. this, I'm excited to see if this rivals my favorite. Yeah, you're gonna okay. like that a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah. Did you dip it? Oh, I did not dip it. Dip it in some frosting there. Give it a little frosting dip, maybe. Um, I like that it looks like there's a lot mm -hmm. of chocolate chips, but it's not so bad. They're really just kind of on mm -hmm. the outside, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Give it a good dip. Okay. Yep. Hmm. I mean, that is an excellent cookie. I could probably, a... I could probably eat all of these right now. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. I could take them down. I could really take them down. Um, Can I try a little yeah. of the chocolate chip? Take some of that. Mm -hmm. I, mm. you know what, for a special treat, mm -hmm. um, I don't, I'm not gonna wait eight hours for anything, but if you're at Disney Springs, and even if they had like a half an hour wait. Oh, Kristen, have a napkin. Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. Even if they had a half an hour wait, I would still probably wait in line for one of these because I I do really like cookies. I tell you what, Princess Weekend, after we're done with that mar half marathon, I know where we're going and I know what we're having. It's these. Yeah, I don't care how long we have to wait. You know what? Mm -hmm. I might even go the night before. Yeah. And get them ahead of time. Uh, this is a must have guys. Uh, yeah. We have heard people rave about these in Orlando and that when they were coming to Disney Springs, how mm -hmm. people were going crazy about it. It's an experience to behold. Even just getting the cookie is kind of fun. Uh huh. And um, eating it uh, clearly much better. <laughs> <laughs> now I need to go over there. Yes, but just keep in mind, this right here is about $60 worth of cookies. So it's expensive like anything at Disney, but you get what you pay for, I think, mm -hmm. in this situation. And um, well, I was talking to the girl outside the bakery and I said, you know, do you guys ever run out of cookies? And she said, they haven't yet. Mm -hmm. um, that they're still baking all day long and they haven't run out. So um, with that limit that they put as six cookies, and I noticed most people were getting all six cookies. Wow. So I wasn't about to fold. Yeah, and okay. Get two. Yeah. So I got all six. Um, they're not running out. So that's great. Yeah. Yeah, so I expect that you can wait in line and get them. Yeah, yeah. so mm -hmm. wanted to do this for you guys today. I know we've been talking about it yes. and we've been wanting to do it. So we mm -hmm. thought we'd throw a little video out there so that you guys can see. So next time you are here in Disney for whatever occasion, uh, race weekend or running or vacation, we definitely give Dick Gideon's two thumbs up. Yeah, so. I give it two thumbs up. If it was a bad cookie, guys, I would tell you not to go get it. For $10 or whatever a cookie, I would tell you yeah, not to Yeah, we have get no it. problem telling you which places this is a do great, not have good yeah, stuff. Yeah, this is a great cookie. <laughs> and I'm sorry, we're not going to try all of them just because we don't have time. Yeah. And we we're, we might, maybe we'll do this again and we'll try the next one in a couple months. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, but cool. Thanks for sticking with us, guys, and for doing something a little kind of outside our wheelhouse. Trying to mix it up and... Keep the running fun along with yeah, some the, good the treats. The treats that you need to have after you just put in all the hard work. Exactly. So thanks for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button right down there in the corner, 
please go ahead and uh, hit it for us. And uh, we'll be back here on Friday with um, a great chat to talk about what's coming up with Run Disney and Princess Weekend. So mm -hmm. hope everybody's having a great week and uh, we better pack this up and go for a late night run. <laughs> yep, <laughs> have a good night. <laughs>